So you're looking for some tips and you're going to Trentino. Well, you're in the right place. Hi everybody, welcome to This World Travel, my name's Joe. And just in case you're new around here, I create content around travel. I aim to inspire, inform and amuse. I'm going to give you a whole bunch of tips around Trentino, but this is going to be an extra special video because I'm going to have my fellow content creators give some recommendations and tips about Trentino as well. And over the next couple of months, I'm going to be releasing some more content around Trentino and my trip to Italy. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification button. There's also going to be a blog that accompanies this video content to give you a bit more details on the stuff I covered. A link's going to be in the description. And my first tip is to get a Trentino guest card. Basically, it's a tourist card that gives you free entry to sites, discounts, and also free travel on the local buses and trains. So you get to explore and save money at the same time. Winning! There's loads to see in Trentino, so it's definitely worth getting one, especially if you're around for quite a few days. There are a few ways to get one, so make sure you find out more details by going to the Visit Trentino website. And they even have a very handy mobile app. With so many snow-capped mountains, it's no surprise there's quite a few waterfalls in Trentino. And besides which, who doesn't like a good waterfall? And it is a great way to explore the landscape when you go trekking to find them. There's loads of these natural waterfalls around Trentino with loads of natural paths leading to them. There's even one right by Trento which is definitely worth checking out. And now for most people's favourite subject, food. When it comes to Italy, what do you think of? pasta, and of course, pizzas. Now, when it comes to pizzerias, you have different options for different sizes of wallets and tastes. So when it comes to a balance of price and quality, I'd recommend Pizza Road. They have a massive great selection of pizzas and you can mix and match on the same pizza as well. If there's a big group of you, you should definitely check out the mega sized pizzas that they have. If you're staying in Trento, you can actually catch a cable car to the top of the mountain, which is free with your Trento guest card. Plus, there's a really, really lovely view of Trento you should definitely check out. And there's also a lovely bar that you can hang out with your friends and just chill out. This is Clear Flight Drones. My name's Alan. I'm a full-time commercial drone pilot, and I want to talk to you about excellent value and fabulous coffee. Now, an interesting fact is that the Italian government have capped the price of an espresso. So if you order an espresso at the counter and consume it at the counter, it's only ever going to cost you one euro. However, if you want a table and chair with a lovely view and you want to have waiter service, you are going to pay a little bit more. Hey guys, my name is Charlie, aka Pocket Trailblazer, and my channel is all about real raw travel. I like to show you how it really is when you go traveling. My top tip is once you've done everything there is to do in the city of Trento, is to get out into the surrounding areas because there is so much to do. You can go stand up paddle boarding on a lake that I can't pronounce, so I'm gonna write it here. You can go sailing, you can go canoeing, kayaking, and the best part is that you can get out into the Dolomite Mountains. You can go hiking and it's the most spectacular views I have ever seen. I don't even normally go to the mountains in the summer and I was totally blown away. And then at the end of it, you can sit and have lunch and a beer with this view. So what are you waiting for? Go get involved. Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. My name is Darren. I run a channel on YouTube called Isog Adventure and we recently visited Trentino and really enjoyed a couple of things there. One of them was the castle you can go in apart from on a Monday, it's closed on a Monday so do check out the opening times but you can go into the castle and see some amazing views over the town and surrounding areas and learn about some of the history of how Trentino or Trento um, came about over the time. Another good tip from us would be to stay a little bit potentially out of town. We travel in our van, you can 
can see it behind us. We actually drove from the UK to Trento and we stayed at an amazing campsite with a lovely lake view for a couple of weeks and we really enjoyed going back there in the evenings and just enjoyed a really nice place to chill out, relax and there's lots of really amazing walks that you can do around there as well. So definitely those two tips castle and check out some of the uh, campsites if you like to be out and about in nature and enjoy walking in nature as well. Hi, I'm Nelly. I'm a full-time traveler and digital nomad. Living location independently for the last year has been absolutely amazing, but not entirely hassle-free. And I'm so, so happy I was able to share my journey with anyone interested on my YouTube channel. One thing I love almost as much as traveling is coffee. So when in Trentino, I do suggest you go and get a taste of the authentic Italian coffee culture. Sip on your tiny espresso cup while chatting with locals about football, their delicious food or the weather. And if you're ready to really dive deep into the art of Italian coffee making, you can even visit the coffee museum in Rovereto. And that's all for now. I hope that's been really useful to you big thank you to my fellow contributors who actually gave their tips and also you should definitely check out their social medias platforms and channel links in the description plus there's also further links in my corresponding blog posts for this video I would love to know which tip was the most useful for you let me know in the comments below and of course you should definitely check out the Visit Trentino website they have loads of information on where to go where to eat where to drink where to stay pretty much it's the main place you should be going to to find out the most of your information and you should definitely check out some of my other video content especially my 360 video content that I just released recently link is just here or is it just here one of the two places but there's also a link in the description anyway that's enough for now I hope to see you in the next video ah fucking hell this is a really bad place to do a video it's a great way to explore the landscape when you go trekking to find them Oh, fucking hell. Of my other Italian... Ah, that's... This is not going too well.